Good morning, everybody. The sun is shining in Kentucky. That seems to be a very rare event anymore. I'm gonna take you guys up here and show you our tomato plants and cucumbers. They're doing really well. It poured the rain the other day, you guys. I've got to get out here. Uh, hopefully one more day of sunshine, I'll get in and I gotta net all this stuff out. Hopefully we will get to swim this week. Can't make any promises on that. Kentucky weather's crazy. The grass and all the flowers and everything is growing really well thanks to the rain. This is our first try, mine especially, at growing tomatoes and cucumbers and peppers. Look at this. Look at the tomato plants already. I mean, they are high. They're doing good. I had to put a little stick. We do have tomato steaks, but I had to put this little stick in there because this one was starting to top over already. But our cucumbers, they're coming along good strawberries look what's happening check them out yay that is of course our hot peppers ghost pepper and jalapeno they are doing good too so far so good it's only the beginning i know but i'm proud of them they they are still living and they're still growing so yay us is that a pretty good popsicle there mario mm -hmm. i think you should sit down in your chair you look so cute in your little purple dress. What's that feel like? Is it cold? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's okay. Oh. That's okay. It's just water. Is it cold? Ooh, oh gosh. Oh gosh, quit it. <laughs> mean tail, you got mud on your face. Alright, you gonna throw it to the sky? Go. Alright, go. All the way to the sky. Boom! Ball. I'll check it. Case of snakes. Ball. Woo! Ball. Shoo! Uh oh. Like Let mommy check this plant too. Hold on. You guys, we live deep in the Appalachian Mountains. You can't never be too careful. I usually scan everything. Yeah, my team, mommy. Yes, it is. It's the ball. When you live in the mountains like we do, you gotta check hoping we don't see any this year. We got a possum around now. We got two cats outside. So, fingers crossed. I'm sitting here thinking for dinner, I've got some green beans in there I need to break and string. Probably let the kids help me do that. And we'll do Salisbury steak and brown gravy and uh, loaded potato skins. Besides that, it is gorgeous out today. We've had nothing but rain the last few days. So we are gonna be, you see this? Mm -hmm. We outside, everybody's barefoot. Sean cut all the grass yesterday evening. All the weed eating's done. Everything's the same height at the same time for once. So we're just gonna be barefoot and happy outside today. I thought we was gonna have another flood the other day, you all. I should have filmed it. I should have thought to pick my camera up and film it. Ow! Ow! Oh, now you're gonna give it? Ow! But anyhow, I should have thought to pick the camera up and film the other day when we had that rainstorm because our creek within two hours was up again. And I don't know, some of y'all might, we didn't really vlog much during the flood because we had no water, we had no power, we had no cell phone service, we had nothing. So there was kind of no point. We only had cell phone service when we went out to town. This right here all broke off during the flood, right? Our creek, you see how deep it is all the way back through there? It used to be that deep, almost all the way down through there, but when it flooded, it pushed all these rocks and sediment and all this stuff that broke down, down that way. So the other day, when it started pouring the rain and the creek was rising, it was getting clogged up in spots and chunks were starting to fall again because the water was rushing over. Sean was at the shop working. <laughs> Hi. And crazy me was like, oh my God, my kids were under here, under the okay, shed, because we were on the trampoline when it started pouring. We got caught. <laughs> and Colton, he does not like when the rain is hitting him. He don't like a shower. He likes his baths, but he just wasn't having it. So we stopped here under the building where the grill and stuff is and was relaxing because it's got a roof. I noticed the creek and I'm like, yep, you got to get in the creek. I had to get in the creek, you guys. This rock was across here because... A chunk of that fell out, but it was clogging up here. And I was like, oh God, that right there, it was clogging up. So I got out here myself, digging these rocks up while it's pouring the rain and the creek is overflowing. You can't cut the grass, you ain't that big yet. He's wanting to push mow the grass. But my back and my neck was 
killing me. I done it all the way up and opened this creek up and it dropped. I mean, by the time I got it worked all the way down, it had dropped like four inches. I don't know if we told you guys last year, we got a canner pressure and all that stuff. So depending on how many tomatoes, now it's our first year, we might not this run get enough. But even if I can can, me and Sean can can a couple jars of tomatoes, that would be nice. We're gonna try to hit up the farmer's markets too and can and preserve some food this year. So that'll be fun thing for y'all to watch with us to do. We learn as we go. So don't, don't give us a hard time. We are learning as we go. At least we're making the effort and trying to do it. Going to the store now. Well, I'll tell you this, me and Sean drink L8. Half the time, our Walmart never has it in stock. And the gas stations around here only ever have the bottles, the six pack of bottles. So we buy 12 packs. Two 12 packs now is $18. Two 12 packs, $18. Now listen, when we started buying that, it was like um, $4 a case, 12 pack. Now it's what, nine, $9? Yeah, we're gonna be preserving some food this year and canning some food this year. Hey. Is that Molly? Boo, boo, boo. Yeah. Oh, Kiki. Kiki, say Molly. Daddy. Molly. <laughs> so we got the cat on snake duty, don't we? Looking for snakes. You gonna help mama clean the pool up? Here, I'll get this one. Okay. <clears throat> oh, this one too? Everything's gotta come out, all right. There you go. Get the bugs out of the water and the leaves. Nemo. You gotta skim it. Nemo. Oh. Ooh, it's cold. Nemo, Nemo. Ooh, goodness. Ooh, goodness. Get it all cleaned up. Ooh, you better stop it. Is that hard work? Well, you can put it back up there where it goes. Where are you going with it? He's got something going in his mind. Oh, Ooh. you going to another side, huh? Okay. You see any bugs you gotta get out? Don't do it. Ooh. Oh, you gotta pull it back some. Keep pulling it back. There you go. Don't try to get your mom away. You little stinker. Ooh. You little stinker. Ooh. Would you love an ice cream? Yes. Yes, there you go. So. I'm gonna sit right here and break these beans right in my yard. Kids are sitting on the porch eating their ice cream cups. Yum. I got company coming. You wanna break a bean with me? Yes. But if y'all don't mind, give us some of your best cannon tips and tricks. I know some of you guys have probably been doing this for a long time. We could use all the tips and tricks out there. So if you know any, leave us a comment, let us know. Give us a heads up on this and that. Hey, bud. You wanna help break beans too? Sean is down at the track today. We're supposed to have a drag race this weekend. Not sure. Hey! <laughs> I've moved them like 10 times. Hi! Not sure if we're gonna be able to because of mother nature, but we are hoping and praying to still be able to have the drag race this weekend, you guys. The weather has not been very forgiving to us, but they're down there working on the track, trying to get, uh, move some things around, some bleachers. It's like, I feel like anymore in Kentucky, all it does is rain. Rain all summer. That, damn. that good ice cream? Mm, it looks good. Fingers crossed for us. We will finally get the races up and going because the weather is just good and nice every weekend. You guys, I've been out here trying to do this for 15 minutes and that's what I've got done so far. Because of these little toes and these little toes. Can I set the camera there? <gasps> what? What? What is it? Birds. Oh, birds. My gosh, you made me think it was a snake or something. Oh, birds. Oh, okay, we like birds. Hey. No. Hey, you have a spoon. Use I do. Your, yeah, use your spoon. All right, Cece, show them how to break a bean. Break it. <laughs> Is it hard? I'm going to do it. Is it hard work? I'm going to do it. I'll do it. Okay, Bubba, you show them how you break a bean. Here. Me. Break it. Break it up. No, break it. No, break it. Show them how you break the bean. 
There you go. Show them. Good job. You got to get the string out. Okay. You doing a good job? I did out. Okay, you getting the string out. Oh, man. Doing a burnout. Oh, bless you. Hey, you better turn, Bubba. Oh, you need me to hold your, oh, your baby. Okay, what are we doing now? You vlogging? Hi, Daddy. Hi, JJ. Everything. No, that's for the gym. No, no. Y'all, an hour it took me to get this much because these two. I did it. Good job, you guys. She has learned to string these beans too. Did you drop a bean? Me. Quit. Yeah. Well, between the kids and the bad beans, that is what we got. We're having our little lunch outside. Cheese and sticks. Dip it. Colton calls it dip it. Cucumber, watermelon, and a juice. Is that nummy? Uh, what you got there? That. What is that? Melon. Watermelon. Mm -hmm. What is this? Cucumber. Cucumber. Okay, you guys. We are back in the house. It is fixing to rain. Like, big shocker there. If we could just get three days of just sunshine, that would be wonderful. The green beans, I'm gonna do them on the stove. It takes about three hours, which we will hit right around dinner time, so that's perfect. But I just put the beans in there, covered them with water, as you can see, and a tablespoon of butter. That's just what I do. You ain't gotta do that. I'm not putting salt because I am putting salt pork in it. I'm probably going to use half of that and I'm going to save the other half for um, soup beans tomorrow and cornbread. Okie dokie. I got the salt pork in there. I've got the pepper, the butter, the beans. Now I'm just going to cook it on medium high for about three hours and I am going to pop the head on. I'll come stir it like every hour just to make sure you know everything's in good rotation. But super excited about those. It is that time of year, you guys. Summertime, we garden food like we are on it. Like corn on the cob, green beans. You guys are going to see a lot of that. It would be the one in the house wearing the overalls. What? That leaves scraps all over the counter. <laughs> I want a cucumber. I've seen your peelings. That was for the kids. I might have had one, but at least mine's in a bowl in the sink. I mean, mine was about to be cleaned up. I wanted to enjoy my cucumber first. Did you smell those? I did when I walked in the door. Y'all, ain't it fitting? Look at them. Overalls. Beans. $500. To the winner of this duel. Now listen, he has beat me on every other hot pepper challenge, gummy, hot chocolate, all the hot stuff we've eaten over the last five years. But... There was never a $500 solo shopping trip on the table for mama. Step one, each dueler carefully remove your pepper X chip from the box okay. and prepare. Give me that card. Th listen, we don't need rules. You better not be planning to take sips of pot behind my back. $500 in the champion coin. Ready, aim, aim fire. fire. Let me show y'all. Oh. Give you a little look see over. A little look over. Go. It's all in my mind. It's all in my mind. It's all in my mind. I'm going for that coin, that $500. <sighs> okay. It's hot. I gave birth naturally twice. I can handle this. No, nah, I want that coin. I beat you. They ain't, they ain't no way. Mm, that's hot. I gotta move. Move? Where are you going? Sit down here. I gotta walk. Walk. Are you uncomfortable? Oh, yes, I'm uncomfortable. You're up moving around. <laughs> that one's hot. I left the racetrack for this. I got this. I got this. Oh, I'm jumping. I'm going to distract myself. What? <laughs> You're going to jump on the trampoline. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You seen it? She took a drink. I didn't swallow. You swallowed. Uh, yeah. My throat. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. You didn't win nothing. You cheated. Give me his money. 
<laughs> Man, our PlayStation game. I can't do that my lip burns. All I wanted was the coin. You can have the money. Have the day. You ain't his pop. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner, winner, winner, chicken dinner. I got the coin. That's I'm a good husband. He knows I can't hang it. Mm -mm. I need milk. I need milk. All right, you guys, dinner is ready. What, um, Those are what I really want. You guys, my kids are in the bed now. It is, it's 9, 10, 10 after 9. But anyhow, I'm disappointed in myself. Colton got a package in the mail from these people we follow on TikTok. And uh, his name is David. I think his sister, um, is his caretaker he's an older man but he has down syndrome too but he was making some crosses when i came across their video one day and i asked her a message i said hey i would love to have one and they sent us some for colton and chloe and we opened them i will show you guys in the morning before we finish this video out i will show you he colored colton a picture too gosh man he's just the purest soul oh my god david is i love watching him just having that in my house from him like the air just feels lighter you know what i mean it's like it's it passed it was made and passed through the hands of somebody so pure and so special and now i am going to frame the picture i'll show you in the morning i'm going to frame the picture that david colored for colton and hang it on his wall they sent three crosses i gave colton and chloe one to have but I put one on Colton's nightstand, and I'm going to put that in a little trinket box and keep it on his nightstand. But I'm going to stick a little note behind the frame. I'm going to write Colton a little note and tell him the year, um, the day we got it in the mail, that his very good friend David made that for him and drew that picture for him and sent it to him. So someday when he's older, uh, he, they may take that off the wall after mom and dad are gone and see it and read it. Right here it is, you guys. The picture from David. He colored that picture for Colton. Is that not precious? I absolutely love it. I'm framing this and I'm going to hang it on his wall. But here is one of the crosses. He sent three. How precious is that? Absolutely made my day. I gotta figure out, I think I'm gonna get a trinket box. I might get a little trinket box to hang on the wall beside this. But for now, I'm gonna set it right there in this until I buy a frame and then that's going up. So we love that. Thank you so much, David. It's early. Yes, I had to show him David's picture he sent Colton. Was that, that's so precious. Good morning. Good morning. Bunker. <laughs> Jello, sausage, biscuit, berries. Berry. Apparently, they was down the track till 4 30 last night. Why? Uh, grading it, watering it, doing some things that need to be done for it for the race today. Oh my goodness. It's a long time. We're going to have to do something nice for Jim Dandy and Rocky because they sure put it in for us. Wow. All right, I'm ready to eat breakfast. You guys, we followed this one in. The camera died on me last night anyways, but I was going to, I had to wait to Colton's room. You know, it was in there and he was asleep. So I had to wait and show you the picture from David this morning, but we are getting out of here. We'll see y'all in the next one. Stay positive. Stay country. And stay true to your roots. Say bye. Bye. Bye.